Hello everyone. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Good evening. Thank you all for being here. Oh, thank you very much for that. I've been working on trying to get these videos sorted out. Just a bit of branding for the channel. So to start off with, let's say a quick hello to everyone. We've got a Sydney. Hello love. We've got a Linda that might be there somewhere. We've got a Pip. A up. Who else have we got in? We got Gavin and Demon and James, I believe. Hello, hello, hello. Hope that's everyone. Cool, cool. So tonight it was uh I wanted to do a bit of a test out of the stuff that you've just seen, getting the intro done, bit of a live stream countdown timer. Um there is an outro video at the end as well, which, nothing fancy, just something simple to end on. I thought we'd play a little bit of Portal 2 today. If you haven't played Portal before, um, well, it's, it's a few years old. I think the first one's probably about 12 years old, maybe. Um, it's a puzzle game. All you can do is create portals to go through walls, ceilings, everywhere. Uh, but the second one, one of the main storyline characters is played by Stephen Merchant, who, he's fantastic, and the stuff that he has is, um, his dialogue, really fun, really fun. Oh, and thank you ever, thank you ever so much for the comments in the side chat for the intro. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. So, hopefully, we're going to swap across to the camera, to the uh, game itself. And if I've got it done right, we should get sound of it as well. So, bear with me just a moment. And we will transition across. Yes, the cake is a lie. The cake is indeed a lie. So, we will start this from the beginning of the game. And then everyone's got an intro straight away, see what's going on. Um, I'm going to try and keep interactive with the side chat as much as I can. However, I will keep quiet as much as I can during the dialogue, because that's what's funny about this game. So, here we go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. So you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. That thing you make cider Good. from? This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Uh, just to the side chat, is the sound from the game coming through okay? There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. I'm tired after all of that. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 
Nine, nine. This currency call Hello? Is Anyone in there? Subjects should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject are you going to open the door at this time? Uh, any time? to have exercised his or her right Hello? to remain in extended nope. relaxation for the duration. Are you Ah! God, God, you look te um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. And guys, art is it. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. OK, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. OK, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. OK, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, right, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that. you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. And, yeah, to be fair, that was half the reason I thought a streamless All game right. is... Off you go. I love the game, but this character that Go on, just Burton march on through that is, hole. He's fantastic. I wish I would hurry yeah, up. it's all right. Go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah. I wish I'd sort I know, of make I know. I have painted quite a grim picture so of your chances, but if you simply stand thing. here, we will both surely die. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support 
so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Kind of want one of those cuddly um, companion cube plushies. I don't know if you've seen them, they're like about that big. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Okay. Right, we need to do... There's a portal there. Right, just a second guys, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Food deliveries are always at the wrong time. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I can't do that with my hair anymore. That was about probably 10 years ago. I've been growing it ever since. Oh, there's a comic about a scientist from Aperture with only a key for company. I can imagine that probably drove him insane. Still, oh, I never knew you could zoom on this before. Alright, so if I go that way, oh, except I need to keep this in the other place, okay. So we'll go into there, pick up a cube. I was a little bit disappointed there was a um a fan made VR version of Portal, but I played it and it wasn't all that great. Oh Got a nickel in the track. Good. Got a widow's side because of the, the technical difficulties we are currently hey, experiencing, you. You your test well. environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. That is very true, Super Ghost. It really is. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey! You made it! Uh. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Somewhere. It's all right, no good. Oh! Let's see. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. 
I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Go, team. Ah, uh, there's that portal gun. I must say on this game, GLaDOS, probably my most favourite bad guy in the computer game ever. Like that and Bass from um, Far Cry 3. What we're supposed to do, I don't know that cool. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Yeah, I would, if you're enjoying this, then I would appreciate the like and the sub. If you're not enjoying it, I'd appreciate you saying why. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate yes. grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> but I am a potato. Gabe Johnson with his combustible lemons. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the sort of little stories behind GLaDOS, um, I have heard how she was an AI based on, I think it was Cave Johnson's daughter, possibly, and the way she's portrayed is the kind of computer coming down out of the ceiling is very similar to what looks like a woman which has been tied up and hung upside down. So, you know, yeah, just a victim lashing out at the world. Uh, oh, James, I can't help you with that, mate. I can just, you know, give you something to listen to in the background. It's not much, but it's something. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Smash. Oh, yeah, dude, in your right, mate. Did miss it earlier on. I did use your artwork for the logo here. I thought, what am I doing here? The confusion is real. Oh. Okay. 
I just find a real I've played this game through so many times and it's just as good. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. straight onto there. Don't. Okay. Try that again. Go. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Yep. I'd just like to say that I don't think Slim Cyborg is going to be streaming tonight. Um, when I get confirmation if he is or isn't, if he's not, then at about 9 o'clock GMT, I will probably be doing another live stream, which will be playing the Jackbox games, Quiplash, What the Dub, all of that kind of fun. So keep an eye out for that tonight. Um, I say that'd be about 9 GMT, so about two and a half hours from now for whatever you guys are using in your time zones. But everyone's welcome to come along and take part. This is the one where you've got to... now instead. That would be going. Cool. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, oh, testing yeah. is the future, and the future starts with you. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, that's all it is, is he's just away working tonight, that's all. I see he's got streams lined up for tomorrow. Uh, GMT, Gwyneth, meantime. You know, the only real time in the world. Maybe two, okay. So if we put one there, we should fly across. Hey. Now, 
now we can't remember where to. It's going to be up there, isn't it? Mega turtles, yeah. Both, you know, I might need to be up on the higher level there. Ooh, no, that was that. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Where we're going, we don't need safety equipment. Portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? At the end of the day, brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, listen. Let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. OK, ready? One. Catch me! Catch Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I can't move then. That's the problem now. Are you still are you still there? Could you pick Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Oh, enjoy your dinner, guys. Bam! Secret panel. Not open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. Oh, poor turrets. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them right now. In case you thought to yourself, I've missed the window of time to voice my reservations. It's still open. Let's go through her chamber. 
Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at that. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either. So so don't land on that um, or your head. No braces there. That could that could split like a melon uh, from this height. <laughs> um, yeah, like so do happen. definitely focus. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This down. is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Hi, hi, Mr. Wonderful. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't right, touch anything yeah. else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A a a a a. a um. A. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do big with the pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah. Uh... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time.
player. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Oh, sorry, I, I, I'll try and be quiet while the music's on. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. What? Are you... Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh, yeah, she does have a black box. Which are usually like bright orange or bright yellow. Okay, I need to get the laser into there. Using nothing but. Nothing but. Okay, we've got nothing to use. Oh, do we have a portal? Great. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. <laughs> yeah, you might need to see a doctor. That are they were the GLaDOS, would you kindly wash up that wretched, filth-flinging mechanical tuna tunnel? This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Uh... 
hello there little quadruped. How are you? Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Remember, uh, back many years ago, one of mine and Julian's friends, they set up a security camera at the top of their garden, which had a speaker on. And I managed to route that through, so uh, whenever there was motion detected on the camera, it would point out that they are a horrible person. And we weren't even testing for that. Oh yeah, they need to get rid of that top chat option. Who the hell ever uses it? Just one live chat at a time. Oh, nice, nice. Um, yeah, this Portal 2, you can play two-player co-op, where you, uh, you play as, uh, two testing robots. To be fair, I've never played the, um, the co-op version before. So I don't know any more than that, really. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So cool. feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility.
through that. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, yeah it's like Waddle cool. over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Yeah, we play co op of people and they don't finish it. Yes. Hashtag free Gavin. Also, hashtag hands where I'm at his face. Must remember those important bits. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I can't say I've ever heard of fractal space. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Tell you what, Julian. Um, what we do is it's six minutes to. I will. Um, I'll end the stream on the hour. 
and I quickly have some food so I can give you a co-op at maybe like quarter past seven that sounds cool really hello yeah same here but it never gets old just have to remember to leave it long enough in between each playthrough. But we'll put this through to the next save point and then uh, I'll see about ending the stream and getting ready for the next. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling yep, towards yep, you. Welcome back. And like I was saying earlier on, ah. Uh, Oh, next you do a stream of people. Yeah, so, um, I'm going to have a quick 10-15 minute break just to have some food. And then I'll start up again and me and Julian are going to try a co-op together. However, in about two hours time, I'm going to set up a gaming stream where you can all come on and we'll do some quick flash, we'll do some what the dub. I don't believe Slim is going to be streaming tonight as he may still be away at a festival. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Okay, let's uh, save it there for next time. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easy? So, yeah, I'm going to have a little break now, just quickly have some food, and then I will start up another uh, stream where hopefully me and Julian will play co-op. Fingers crossed. Um... Cool, cool, yeah. I'm not going to be going around and shilling this out on the discords or anything because it's more so for people that are already here. Um, if you hit subscribe and enable notifications, I'll do the three minute intro again so you've got a chance to turn up. Uh, thank you very much for being here and we will see you all again soon. Bye bye now.